So today I'm going to go over the two Latin Mass missiles that I have found helpful over the last 10 years or so of attending the Latin Mass. I'm going to go through the quality, the build quality. I'm going to go through the content, the ease of use. And then finally, we're going to crown the champion of all Latin Mass hand missiles. I'll tell you which is the best one, why you should get it, and where you can get it. Let's get started. So within the Latin Mass community, you'll see a number of hand missiles. You'll see the St. Andrew's missile. You'll see the one that's produced by the Fraternity of St. Peter. I am a member of a Fraternity of St. Peter parish, and so that's the one that's in the pews. I've used it hundreds of times. But you'll also see one by Angelus Press, which I'm going to review today. And also you'll see the one by Father Lassance called the New Roman Missile. Now I'm going to tell you right up front that the Angelus Press missile and the Father Lassance missile are the two best. And so today I'm going to review both of those and then we'll crown the champ. All right, we're going to lead off with the Father Lassance missile. You'll see that it's not in real leather. This is actually a plastic casing, but that's actually a good thing. It keeps it safe, it keeps it protected. One negative about it, and I'll say it right off the top, is the gold gilded edges. If they get wet, it falls right off. You can see where raindrops and water have hit on there and that gilding, that cheap gilding has fallen right off. It has five, I'm sorry, it has six ribbons, which is important. We'll see in the next one, it doesn't have six. Let me make sure that's correct. Yeah, it's got five. This one has six. Now, the artwork in the interior of this Father Lassance missile is absolutely stunning. You'll see that it has really nice etching throughout the booklet. At the beginning, it has illustrations, for example, how the chalice is veiled, the, the various vestments of the priest. You may have seen these pictures before uh, online. They're actually from this Father Lassance missal. Also at the end, it has something that most hand missiles don't have, and that is a short reading of every single saint in the calendar. Just a paragraph, sometimes just two or three sentences. I find this, for example, with someone that I don't know well, it's a good reminder if it's that feast day just to read it and find out, okay, who is that again? For example, who was St. Hyacinth? Well, here's just a little summary on St. Hyacinth. Wonderful. What I really like about the Father Lassance Missal is that it doesn't cross-reference you to repeated prayers. In other words, it'll say, this epistle already appears at page 1196. And then you're flipping through the missile and trying to find it, hustling through it, and it's confusing. It's a distraction. And if you're like me, I have eight kids. You know, I've got a child and it's two minutes to the consecration and she says, I have to pee. I'm about to pee my pants. The last thing I need are more distractions trying to find what page I'm on. I want everything to be super easy. And for me, the Father Lassance, you can see it's thick. Look how, look how much thicker it is compared to the Angelus. Put them right there. See that? This one is the Father Lassance because they're not cutting anything out. So all in all, I like the Father Lassance because although it's thicker and it is heavier, it gives me everything I need and I don't have to be flipping around as much. Which brings us to the Angelus Press. The Angelus Press missile is on the market the best made missile. It's quality, it's genuine leather, smells good. The gilding is nice after all these years. It is losing its gilding up on the edges here, but otherwise the gilding just looks beautiful. It's held up over time. The binding, unlike the Father Lassance one, which is all cracked, the binding still looks great. So this is, now granted, I don't use this one as much as the other one, but it's just a high quality book and I salute Angela's Press. One disappointment though is there's no pretty pictures in this missile. Unlike the Father Lassance, like for example, when you go to the consecration or the mass, there's no pictures of priests or anything or the altars or the Eucharist. It's just text. That's unfortunate. Another negative for me as a guy who likes Latin is they show the English in a bigger font and the Latin in a smaller font. And this presumes that you don't care about the Latin. It's there for your reference, but ideally you're going to be following the English. I don't like that. I like to follow in the Latin. I don't want a smaller font of the Latin. I want them equal. Father Lassance makes them equal. Angelus Press makes the Latin smaller. Now, if you're not into the Latin, it's not a big deal to you, then this makes better sense to get the Angelus one. So, 
So far, the negatives are no pretty pictures, small or Latin. The biggest negative for the Angelus Press, and the reason I don't use it as much as the Father Lassance version, is all the cross-referencing. For example, let's say it's an Ember Day during Lent, and you're moving along and it gets to, on uh, Ember Saturday in Lent, and you get to the fifth lesson. Well, instead of printing the fifth lesson, it just says, from the prophet Daniel, page 164 and him, from the Saturday of Ember Week in Advent. So thanks a lot, Angelus Press. So I have to now put a ribbon right there where I was, and now I have to go all the way over to Advent, find the Ember Saturday in Advent, scroll through, find the fifth lesson in him. By this time, I've already missed you know, that whole thing. Or I got kids with me, I'm totally distracted, fail, I just give up. So I don't like that. I want everything listed out and printed. The Father Lassance does that. So who's the big winner? Angelus Press or Father Lassance? The Father Lassance. I like it because it's pretty. It's beautiful. The art is great. It has better devotional prayers in it. And it has all the text with less flipping around. It is bigger. It is plastic. The gilding isn't as good. But for a text, Father Lassance is the best. I got to add one thing on the Father Lassance that I missed going through on the review. And that is... The Father Lassance Missal is a 1945 Latin Mass Missal, not the 1962 that you'll see used with the Society of St. Pius X and the Fraternity of St. Peter. Now, I attend the Fraternity of St. Peter, which means some things are different. Namely, Joseph's name is not mentioned in the Canon of the Mass, which happened under John the 23rd, and the Holy Week and Easter liturgies are the old liturgies, which I actually think is kind of cool but it doesn't really help you during Holy Week. So that is a negative. So for some people, it's a positive. But those two minor things, the Holy Week liturgy and the name of Joseph and the canon, are going to be different. And some of the feast days that happened between the 1940s and 1962, there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. But in day-to-day, -day, I would say 98, 99% of the time I'm using this missile, there is no problem. Everything works. Why? Because the Latin Mass is really unchanging only in very minor detail. So again, Father Lassant wins. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to get more information on Catholic living. And in the show notes below, you'll be able to get the links to the Angelus Press Missile and my favorite, the Father Lassant Missile. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Like and subscribe. Share this on Facebook. See you in videos to come. God bless.